Are you looking for the best recreational crabbing locations in Northern California? What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another crabbing video here at Herman's Outdoors. Today we are going through the top crabbing locations in Northern California. The state of California has 840 miles of coastline and has many small bays and coastline areas for some really good recreational crabbing for Dungeness, Red Rock crabs and more. Although recreational fishing is huge across the state, California also produces some great recreational crabbing locations. And for the average recreational outdoorsman like myself, I love going crabbing in new locations and learning new techniques and North Cal has both. In this video, we're going to focus on the best locations in Northern California defined as locations north of Santa Cruz. So if you're looking to get out for some crabbing in Northern California, then you need to know about these locations. Number 5. Bolinas Bay, Stinson Beach Bolinas Bay sits northwest of the Golden Gate National Recreational Area right along Highway 1 off Stinson Beach. The bay is protected by Dukesbury Point, a small jet out point off the Marine Conservation Area. The crabbing area is northwest of San Francisco Bay and just a short boat ride from the bay. Stinson Beach runs along the majority of the bay and anglers can utilize the beach to cast a crab snare or head out into the waters with a kayak. The way to target with a kayak is a two person system where you launch from the shore with the kayak, head out into the bay and drop off a couple of crab pots with one person staying on the bank and catching crabs with a snare then rotate going out to pick up pots after a good soak. And there's plenty of beach access, so even if the crabbing isn't hot, you can enjoy a day of relaxation at the beach. The calmness of the bay in the winter can provide amazing crabbing opportunities with the kayak as rougher waters offshore can be tough for smaller boats. And if you decide to use the kayak, just take a couple of pots out at a time. Do not be a hero and try to take out four at a time and overload the kayak. That's how you lose one over the side. Don't ask me how I know. Number 4. Bodega Bay and Tamales Bay Bodega and Tamales Bay are north of San Francisco and Bolinas Bay. The Dungeness crab season starts in early November and I recommend going the first few days and weeks of the season when the, the Dungeness crab season starts in early November and I recommend going the first few days and weeks of the season when the crabbing is best as it can get crowded pretty quickly. But both bays have access to crabbing via piers, jetties, or rocky shorelines for targeting crabs with a snare, or you can take a boat out into the deeper waters. The snares are a great device to target the big keeper crabs in the area, but watch out for the rocky points and areas as it's easy to get the snare stuck in the rocks. So I'd recommend bring a kayak or a paddle board to hit the water and get the snare unstuck from the rocks. Within both of the bays, you can crab year round, but Dungeness is only open November through July. Bodega Bay in particular also has rock, red, yellow and slender crabs to catch as well with the best meat coming from the legs and if i had a chance to go crabbing in the summer i crab at bodega and tamales bays with the sheer variety of crabs that you can catch and a tip when fishing with a crab snare in the rocks always bring a backup snare with you in case you can't get the snare unstuck out of the rocks don't ask me how i know number three Baker's Beach, South Bay. Baker's Beach sits southwest of the Golden Gate Bridge just outside of San Francisco Bay. Since the crabbing within San Francisco Bay is outlawed, heading out to Baker's Beach and the South Bay is the closest crabbing spot to the bay and can produce some epic Dungeness crabbing trips. If it's your first time crabbing Baker's Beach, you'll find it's a popular spot for casting a crab snare from the beach. Couple of pro tips, always remember to bring a rod holder when crabbing or fishing from the beach. It's so much nicer to put the rod into a rod holder instead of having to hang onto it the entire Entire time. Learn that one the hard way. And if you have one, wear some fishing waders. Walk out into the water and cast the crab snare to get it out a little bit farther into the water. You'd be surprised how casting an additional 15 to 25 feet out into the bay can be the biggest key to catching Dungeness crab. Bring a variety of crabbing baits, some food, a chair, and make it a day out on the beach casting and reeling in crabs. And you have a pretty view of the Golden Gate Bridge and entry into San Francisco Bay. And the beach is one of my favorites to take in the sunset after a day of crabbing and hanging out at the beach. Beach. Number 2. Half Moon Bay. Half Moon Bay is a short drive down Highway 1 south of San Francisco Bay. Half Moon Bay has really good Dungeness crabbing from both the boat and the piers of the docks. Crabbers can head out via boat or kayak from the marina and drop off crabbing pots and gear. It's a short drive out to the crabbing area. The best times to go crabbing is on the opening few days when catching limits can take a mere hour to get full limits for everybody in the boat. The rocky points and jetties in the area also produce many opportunities to go after huge rock crabs which are amazing to eat fresh. Within 
Cap Moon Bay, you have the Pillar Point Harbor to launch the boat and head out to the crabbing grounds or utilize one of the half dozen beaches along the bay to launch a kayak. The waters are perfect for kayak crabbing, so grab a friend and go out there and drop some crabbing gear. The surrounding hills around Half Moon have many hiking trails and camping sites, which makes the area one of the best in Northern California for some outdoor adventures. And a crabbing, hiking, and camping vacation sounds really nice right about now. And number one, the Pacifica Municipal Pier. The Pacifica Municipal Pier is part of the South Bay located due west of the San Francisco airport and south of San Francisco. The pier tops the list for a few reasons. First, it's the only pier in the Bay Area where you can crab and fish for free. The 1100 foot pier provides access for anglers of all ages to drop a crab snare to catch the plentiful Dungeness crab in the area. The Dungeness season for the pier starts in November and runs through July. I like the pier because it also produces opportunities throughout the year to go after crabs and fish at the same time. Anglers can drop a snare for crabbing and also try to catch a late season salmon, some striped bass, or perch for a delicious fish and crab surf and turf dinner. If there's a place to teach a kid how to catch crabs with a snare, it's the Pacifica Pier. It's a ton of fun to watch the crowded pier cheer when somebody reels up a keeper crab and the atmosphere is unlike anything I've ever experienced crabbing. Just be careful when casting or dropping a snare when the pier gets crowded. You don't want that pier pressure to get to you. And that's my top five crabbing locations in Northern California. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, hit the like button. Comment below on your favorite Northern California crabbing spot or the spot you like to go crab the most. And if you like crabbing, fishing, and other outdoor content, hit that subscribe button. And look for part two coming soon on crabbing locations in Southern California. Now get out there in NorCal and go catch some crabs.